uh, as that said, we are trading at almost four months highs. We are at level plus in early November. The pair, the commodity has corrected up to the 61.8% retracement of the ES elections decline. Um, it, ha it has been struggling at the, around this level, right? Take a look for most of the past week and this one, uh, sorry, for most of uh, the ends of past week and this one, not able to break higher. What I'm watching in the daily chart is that the one, 200 simple moving average, right? Uh, it's some break uh, holding the upside for now, right? But we are still too close to it and still too close to the FIBO to talk about, okay, we can confirm a top in here and start thinking that the, 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 the commodity will fall. I can't see that happening yet, okay? I go like, I don't know, maybe a break, no, 20 simple moving average, and even greater if we lost 1230 to talk about bearish continuation in the year, okay? Anyway, if this high gives up on 1263.80 and we can go above that, then I would be looking for a 100% extension up to here in oil in gold prices, okay? But for the most, I do expect some consolidation until we get some clear definitions coming from the Fed or from our friend, Mr. Trump, right? But that's what the market is waiting for. Anyway, keep in mind that the risk averse in bear environment is favoring gold. So actually, unless the Fed uh, puts the trigger in March, the comments and rumors about uh, a rate hike are not going to have the same effect that they had over the past year, right? The hopes of a rate hike are not enough these days to push gold lower, right? 